Hey, what's going on? Coach Matt and YougoProBaseball.com. And I know it's a crazy time right now, but you guys have to stay focused. I know we're stuck inside right now, but the season is going to come back at some point. We don't know when yet. Maybe it's a week, a few, a few weeks, probably a few months, possibly the summer, maybe even next year, but it's going to come back and we're going to be playing baseball. And the guys who put in the work now while we're stuck at home are really going to see the benefit uh, as using this as like another off season to make gains, right? The guys who just sit at home and, and sit on the couch and eat snacks all day, they're going to go the opposite way. They're going to, so there's going to be a big gap is what I'm saying. The gap is going to widen this season uh, when we get back to the field. So in this video, I wanted to share with you the nine most essential training tools that you can use at home to get better, progress. So when you hit the field, you hit the field running and you're on this side of the gap and not this side and you start dominating when you're back on the field. So First training tool. These are all sold on my website, yougoprobaseball.com. I've put them all on sale for you guys uh, to take advantage while you're at home right now. So the first one, this is a real cool one, is uh, this tool right here. Now, you may have seen this uh, in some videos because I, I love this training tool right here. And all you do is you take a baseball and you stick your hand in there and then you tighten it up, right? And guess what? You can get your throwing in inside. So now you've got your ball in here, you've got your hand in here, it's got the strap so it's not going anywhere. And you can actually throw, go through your throws and let the ball go full speed. So you can get throwing in your living room, in your bedroom, anywhere. You don't need a partner now. And the great, the other great thing about this tool is that not only are you throwing, but it's actually working on your deceleration too because now you have the weight of the baseball within that sleeve right there. So when you start to slow your arm down, you actually have more resistance or more weight or more mass going forward. So you're working the, your deceleration muscle. So it's actually, in my opinion, could be more beneficial than actually just throwing a baseball. So that's a really great training tool. And everyone needs to throw. Everyone needs to keep their arm in shape, you know, during this time at home. So that's a great uh, training tool you can use. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get that one. I'll leave a link down below where you can get all these tools that I'm gonna talk about. The second thing, um, since we're talking about keeping your arm in shape, is bands. Uh, these are Jager bands. These are my favorite. Um, they come with a little clip here um, and then Velcro straps that go around your arms. You can get them in Yugo Pro Green. I got a bunch of different colors uh, that you can get them on. You know, maybe look up your team's colors, see if we got them there on my website. But uh, obviously you guys know what you got to do with the bands, getting your arm work, uh, make sure your back and your shoulder and your elbows and, and your, your arm, your upper body is all staying in shape and strong and ready for the season when you get back to throwing. So that's another great one. The third training tool is the King of the Hill. Um, this is actually the King of the Hill Pro. There's a standard model. I also sell a model for softball. So if there's any softball players, uh, softball parents here watching, check that out, um, as well as the King of the Swing. But this is a great training tool to really work on learning how to use your body the correct way, creating energy from the ground up, delivering force into the ground so that, that you have the equal and opposite reaction the opposite way. So you're tr creating energy through your body, through your kinetic chain and out through the baseball so that you're throwing the ball faster or hitting the ball harder, whatever it is. So that's another great, great training tool. In fact, if you buy the King of the Hill or the Queen of the Hill, uh, King of the Swing off my website uh, or the pro version, whatever you buy uh, off my website, I've got a tr free training program or a series of videos that will come with the King of the Hill that you can watch and see how I use it to train my players. So you get that totally free and it's like 15 videos. So that's just an added bonus for supporting me. The next training tool that I wanna talk about, and this is probably the favorite of all you guys, is the mini wiffle ball pitching machine. You've seen it many, 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 many times on my website. It's one of my favorites because I think training small is amazing. It's a great way to really work on your hand-eye coordination, to work on your, your fielding, your hitting, your catching, your, uh, you know, just training small is going to be hugely beneficial because when you get to uh, hitting with a bigger bat and hitting with a bigger ball, it's just going to be so much more easy as well as catching, catching with a, uh, you know, a bigger ball and a bigger glove, which brings me to my next training tool, the mini glove. Um, and you can catch the mini wiffle balls with this glove. Of course, you've seen this on my website before your two fingers just go in these holes right here. Um, it's one size fits all, and you just catch the mini wiffle ball in the glove, just like that. Really great for hand-eye coordination. The kids love it. The great thing about these uh, drills, especially the mini wiffle ball drills, is that 
they're fun. The kids love it. They'll be doing it by themselves. You don't even have to get them out there to do it. Um, it's safe. Like if they miss it and this mini wiffle ball hits them in the face, it's not doing any damage. These things are, are super light. You know, they might get a little welt or something, but you know what I'm saying? It's not a hard ball. Um, and then it's effective. It works. It really works. So the more they reps they put into it, the more they're going to see a benefit from it. So, uh, I really love that. Now we've, I, I have to be honest with you right now, currently when I'm posting this video, this is not always true, but right now when I'm posting this video, we're close to selling out of these units. So, uh, take that for what it is. You know, um, if you really want one, you might want to go check it out. Uh, this is the mini, uh, skinny barrel bat. Uh, obviously, you're going to use this with mini wiffle balls, and uh, it's just a great way to train to make your hitting even that more harder. Uh, did I say that right? That more harder? That much, much more harder? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, you're trying to hit the mini wiffle balls with this bat right here, and uh, it just makes it tougher. And uh, this is also for sale on my website. Obviously, you can start with that and then progress it to your regular bat or vice versa. Uh, some guys have trouble hitting with the skinny barrel bat at first. So you can start with your regular bat and then as you get better, go to the skinny barrel bat. So um, just a great way to progress the drill. The next training tool, what are we on? Number seven maybe, is the Line Drive Pro. And this unit right here just goes on the end of your bat. It's got a tennis ball in there. And all you're gonna do is work on taking the proper swings. What happens is this tool is so great because it gives you instant feedback. Now, this one you need a little bit of room for. The mini wiffle ball machine you, you saw I've done uh, videos in my living room. You can pretty much do that anywhere. All the other drills you can do pretty much anywhere. This one, you might need a little bit more room or at least a net, right? You, or, or get in the garage because you're throwing these tennis balls around. So at least a net maybe or like a brick wall that you could throw at. Um, but this is a super great drill because it's going to give you instant feedback because if you dump the barrel, right, that ball is going to fly off to your opposite field side. If you cut across with your swing, that ball is going to shoot to your pull side. So if you're taking good swings and you're trying to shoot that ball up the middle and it goes slightly upward like a line drive up the middle, then you know you had a good swing because it's not going to work unless you do that, right? You can't manipulate this drill to work unless you have a good swing. So it gives you also that feedback if you have a bad swing so you can make an adjustments quickly. Two years ago at the ABCA, I saw this guy, first time he ever saw the product, threw it on the bat in the booth, took a swing, it was a terrible swing, he missed, and then he, the second swing, he got it, and it was up the middle, and then he was money after that, he was like, I feel it, I understand, I get what this does, and he bought a couple of units right there, so it's just that it's, you don't need a coach there, right? A lot of these things, you don't need a coach there. It gives the players the instant feedback so they can work by themselves, and it's fun too, right? Shooting these things off uh, of your bat is, is kind of fun. The next training tool that you can use by yourself is the connection ball. The connection ball is just a ball that we use to work on certain drills to stay connected. A big uh, issue in a lot of youth players is being disconnected, whether it's disconnected in the swing, disconnected in the throw, disconnected in the pitching mechanics, whatever it is. There are certain drills that you can do with the connection ball to help the players feel and stay connected. So the connection ball is a super easy drill and it's super effective. Excuse me, that was my skinny bat falling, but it's a, a it's a great way to work on staying connected. If your player has a, a long swing or a, a long arm, you need the connection ball. So really simple idea, really effective idea. Um, the last but not least training tool that uh, you might wanna think about getting if you're stuck at home is the 9.75 inch glove. This glove you have seen on my YouTube channel many times, MLB player, Matt Antonelli was wearing this in his videos that he shot with me. Uh, MLB middle infielder Doug Bernier was wearing this. Um, this is Nick Shaw's uh, middle infielder for the Brewers. His favorite glove. He wears, them, wears it in all the videos we shot together. Um, who else was on my... Uh, Fernando Cortez, uh, MLB middle infielder, wore this glove in some of our, the videos we did. Everybody loves this freaking glove. And everyone asks, where do you get this glove on my website? Because I never really promote it. These guys are just wearing it. Uh, but you do, you get it on my website. I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. It's just a, it's a smaller glove, um, but it's a really high quality glove, right? So it's not just a flimsy smaller glove, but the idea behind this glove is that um, if you can field, you know, a ball using this glove, a smaller glove, you're really gonna be forced to stay down um, and feel that ball the correct way uh, while you're fielding. So, um, you know, and, and again, it's a really high quality glove. So if you can field the ball with a smaller glove, obviously when you get your regular game glove on, it's gonna be a lot more uh, it's going to be a lot easier. You're going to have a little bit more reach, if you will. Um, tons of pros use these gloves. Um, I'm sure you've seen them all over the place, but that is uh, for that.
So those are my nine essential training tools that you can use at home during this time while we're stuck inside. Um, or really, when we get back out of the season, too, these are great drills that you could do at home, you know, in your off time during the week after you do your homework, whatever it is, too. So if you're watching this video after the coronavirus is long gone, uh, these are still great drills for you to do inside or, or even outside. But uh, the purpose of this video was for inside, obviously. Um, they're for sale on my website. I'll leave all the links down below. Again, the gap when we get back on the field is going to be huge, right? Which side of that gap are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the side of the gap where when you get out there, everyone's like, oh my God, what the heck was he doing this whole time we were inside? He's a totally different player. He's so much better and just killing everybody leaps and bounds above everybody else on the field. Or are you going to be that guy who, who was pretty good before and you got back and they're like, what the heck has this guy been doing? He's been sitting on the couch the whole time. He is terrible right now. So which side of the gap are you going to be on? Make a decision now because the work that you put in is going to be a direct reflection on how you're playing in the field when we get back to, to it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Check out all the links below. And if you got any questions, let me know. Thank you so much, guys. I hope everyone's staying well and safe. Uh, please, if I can do anything to help, let me know. Thank you.